Hallelujah. I want to read some scriptures that are um, comforting and encouraging to me uh, in, in my faith, especially in, in times of difficulty. Psalm 91. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust him. For he will rescue me from every trap. He will protect me from deadly disease. He will cover me with his feathers. He will shelter me with his wings. His faithful promises are my armor and my protection. Do not be afraid for the terrors of the night. Do not be afraid for the arrow that flies in the day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness. Do not be afraid of the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. For you have made the Lord your refuge. You have made the Most High your shelter. No evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home. For he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life and will give them my salvation. Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. He lets me rest in green meadows. He leads me beside peaceful streams. He renews my strength. He guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid. For you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. You prepare a feast for me in the presence of my enemies. You honor me by anointing my head with oil. My cup overflows with blessings. Surely your goodness and your unfailing love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will live in the house of the Lord forever. You know, I like to go back and to ponder verse 4. It says, Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect and comfort me. One of the things I think about is that I'm walking through that valley. I'm not staying in the valley. I'm not being um, defeated in that valley, but I'm walking through that, that valley with the help of God. And then Psalm 103 and verses 1 through 5. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins. He heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death 
and he crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Again, let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all of my sins. He heals all of my diseases. He redeems me from death. He crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagle. You know, I speak that into situations and I say that this is the truth. This is the truth. I may be feeling different things. It may look different, but this word is what is true. Not what I'm feeling and not even what I'm seeing. That has to change. But the word of God is what is true. And then I like this scripture in Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17. Actually, I'll start in verse 16. It says, on that day, the announcement to Jerusalem will be, cheer up, Zion, don't be afraid, for the Lord your God is living among you. He is a mighty Savior. He will take delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Again, on that day, the announcement of Jerusalem will be, cheer up, Zion, don't be afraid. Cheer up, Charnay, don't be afraid. Cheer up, Charnay, don't be afraid. For the Lord your God is living among you. He's living in you. He is a mighty Savior. He takes delight in you with gladness. With his love, he will calm all your fears. He will rejoice over you with joyful songs. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. We just thank you. We just come to you right now. Hallelujah. We give you thanksgiving. And we thank you, Father, that you rejoice over us with joyful songs. Father, that you surround us with your mighty power that saves. Father, I thank you. And Father, I just, by the, the Spirit of God within me, I just lift my voice and I sing in the Spirit a song of joy, a song of deliverance, a song of that just declares your greatness and, and sends forth worship unto you. Andelelio sole. Andelia. Yelesio. Yanisoria si.
Thank you, Father. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that washes us, that cleanses us, and that keeps us. For that blood, hallelujah, that blood has sealed us in a covenant with you. You are our covenant God, and you are a covenant keeping God. Hallelujah.